So, I, I, I came across a couple of things. I tweeted this out a while ago. And, you know, we're talking about borders nowadays, right? Does anybody care about borders? You know what? Right? You know, without borders, we don't have a country. What is it? We don't have borders. They say, oh, you can't do that. You can't move people around. You can't do that. That's not nice. But we got to straighten out our country. You know, it's like unbelievable. But here's, here's something. I, I tweeted this a while ago, and it still holds true. If you cross the North Korean border, and if you do it illegally, you get 12 years hard labor. 12 years. I think you get more than that. Actually, I think they kill you, but, <laughs> but we'll get to that because you have some where they actually do kill you. If you cross the Afghanistan border illegally, you get shot. Okay, so one you get 12 years, one you get shot, right? Two Americans were imprisoned for eight years after crossing the Iranian border. Now, you see that with our four hostages who we can't get out, even though we gave these guys $150 billion. We have great negotiators. By the way, I guarantee you I would have had them out. And I don't mean lately. We never even asked for them out because they didn't want to complicate the negotiations. Did you know that? They never asked. They said, we didn't want to complicate, so they didn't ask. We have four hostages over there. So in Iran, if you cross, you get eight years. Well, these guys are in there. Certainly the minister, the pastor, Christian, he's in there for three or four years already. So I guess eight years is right. So in Iran, you get eight years. There's a $50,000 fine on another border, but there's a $5,000 fine for Americans crossing the Canadian border. What's nicer than the Canadian border? I mean, if you've got to cross a border, if you have your choice between North Korea, Afghanistan, or Iran, I take Canada every single time. Do we agree? Right? Do we agree? So there's a $5,000 fine. The Canadians are smart, $5,000. That sounds like good. That's like a trip. So we shouldn't even mention that one, because that's not, you know. Of course, if you don't have it, that's a lot of money, right? If you cross the United States border, so remember, the other ones, you get shot, you get this, you get imprisoned for many, many years, you destroy your life. If you cross the United States border illegally, you get a job, you get a driver's license, you know that's true. You get food stamps, you get a place to live, you get health care, housing, child benefits, and in many cases, education. You wonder why we're a debtor nation.